Yes, you can start. So very good morning to all. Uh, I once again welcome you all in this uh, five day Atal FTP and IoT. Uh, let's start with the first session and uh, it gave me uh, immense pleasure to introduce our first speaker of the session, Professor Gautam Sahaji. Uh, let me introduce a small biography about uh, Gautam Sahaji. Uh, Gautam Saha, uh, sir, has done BTEC in electrical engineering, ME in electronic and telecommunication from Calcutta University, and he did his PhD uh, from IIT Kharagpur in the field of bioprocess engineering. Uh, after that, he was also a postdoctoral fellow in Van Guren University at Israel, where he worked in the field of bioinformatics and system biology. Presently, Dr. Saha is a professor and head in the Department of Information Technology in Nehu, Shillong. Uh, he's having 30 years of vast experiences uh, in which he has worked in NIT Durgapur for 12 years, one year in NIT, uh, NIT Palti at Kolkata, and uh, presently he's, uh, he's in Nehu. He has also worked in government engineering colleges, uh, in various government engineering colleges in West Bengal. He's having 30 years of total teaching and research experiences, and uh, his field of research interests are computational biology, bioprocess uh, controller, IoT, and its applications. He's currently supervising 11 PhD scholars, mostly in IoT domain, as he's expert in. And he has published uh, one book of international repute. He's holding one Indian parent, and uh, he's having more than 65 publications in uh, SCI Scopus uh, index journals and conferences. So. I, I once again welcome Professor Gautam Sahaji. Uh, we are really very happy. Uh, in spite of rescheduling the event, you you spared the time for us, uh, your valuable time for us, and also we have heard about your father. So we hope to, uh, that he should get well soon, yes, sir. Yes. Please continue, sir. Oh, it's yeah, over to yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me start. So welcome, participants. So I think uh, 140 the participants are there. So a lot of participants are there here. So let me start with my topic, the introduction to IoT. Introduction to IoT, let me make it full screen. Yes. I think it is visible to you. All the participants can hear me and see me uh, and see the slides also. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. Now, uh, uh, Internet of Things, uh, is not a very old technology, it's a very new technology. And before Internet of Things is an, you know, just like other uh, technologies, useful technologies, which has come to the world from the war field. This Internet of Things has also come from the, is a modification of war field technology. The, the technology which was used in the war that has come for the societal benefit. One of first uh, technology which came from the war is CDMA. CDMA. That means you have you know that uh, GSM, CDMA, all this thing, WCDMA. So this is GSM, uh, CDMA, WCDMA. This is the electronics domain work, and this is come. Uh, this has come from the battlefield because uh, CDMA you cannot jam it. Jamming, jamming is possible in G GSM, but jamming is not possible uh, in case of CDMA or WCDMA technologies. Signal jamming. Now, Internet of Things has its predecessor is WSN. WSN means wireless sensor networks. Wireless sensor networks means ad hoc networks, ad hoc networks. Actually, I generally start these type of sessions with this like, uh, with this particular event, so that makes you interesting. Is that uh, during the Iraq war, the America has used this technology, and uh, they own the battle very easily. How they have just uh, have just uh, they have developed some sensors with radio modules in it that the sensors means nothing it is a camera and and the radio module with it and they have sprayed it over with the drones they have sprayed it over the battlefields in the iraq so that these cameras in the disguise of stones or stone chips they used to take pictures of the uh, movement of the enemy soldiers the tanks everything and uh, they uh, these cameras uh, they are thrown in a cluster in particular areas in different areas. And so among one cluster, they make one head, one base station. And from that base station, they used to send the data to the control room. 
from where they can see everything about the movement of the enemy, enemy soldiers and they easily used to come and destroy them by the by the airplanes so this has given them easy victory over the Iran. now later on after this when they see that this technology is so powerful so powerful that they own the battle with the minimum loss not minimum loss with the, yeah of course it's minimum loss and uh, so they think why not to use it for the human uh, uh, societal benefit purpose so they try to be, uh, try to modify wsn wsn is wireless sensor network and that has resulted into internet of things internet thing internet of things means what that means things are connected to things okay fine i have got a mobile phone i am talking to somebody xyz so it is also a, a, a internet of things because i am a thing and i am connecting i am communicating something some information to some other people in the other side so that is also an iot so of course a mobile phone communication is a part of internet of things. it is not internet of things sir slide is not changing in your presentation are you on first slide still i am in the first slide okay sir thank you sir i am in the first slide the second slide I go don't worry I'm in the first slide I think you can see the second slide no yes second sir. Slide is yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes sir yes sir yes sir okay no problem so that uh, so uh, this uh, things means what say I will give you things means sensors that means one sensor can talk to another sensor or actuator now what is sensor and what is actuator uh, I think you all know. Sensor means it is a device which converts a physical uh, a physical uh, system into electrical signals. That means temperature sensors, uh, humidity sensors, etc., etc. Display sensors, cameras also even in that sense you can call it a sensors. And actuator means it is a motors, uh, display systems. Uh, these are the actuators or the switches, uh, on and off switches. They are the actuators okay so that means when a that means what is the internet of thing means when several switches which are present in a particular system sends information to a particular centralized location and using these informations they come to some conclusion that this has to happen now and they send the corresponding signal to the person to the particular actuator do this that is called internet of things that is called the iot that is called the IoT. that means in a house say you have you have uh, your you switched off when you leave left the house if there are cameras so the camera will see that no human movement is seen in the house this camera will switch off all the light all the air conditioners all the heater systems whatever they are in the house they will switch off except the freeze and when you are just going to come to your house near the water your house say you, you either you can uh, you can intimate it or it can track you your mobile phone and see that you are at least 10 minutes this away from your home and it will automatically switch on your either air conditioner or heater or your uh, heat, uh, or your water systems or water systems water heater systems etc etc and make the flat ready for you so that after entering the flat you can tv on and so that so that after entering into the house you can find everything is very comfortable positions that means what these sensors uh, senses that person x is coming towards my house and this information goes to the some central uh, uh, central server where it understands that now it is the time to switch on everything so that when the person enters the room after 10 minutes you will find the room to be air conditioned and etc etc you don't have to toil for it so this is a very minute example for a minor example of it that means iot enables physical objects to see that what is the definition of iot definition of iot is physical objects to see hear think and perform jobs by having them talk together to share the information and to coordinate decisions. This is and to coordinate decisions. 
this is the definition of IoT. Now, IoT enables physical objects to see, hear, think, and perform jobs by having them to talk together. You understand it very carefully. Having them talk together. That means sensors are sending the data to a central server. They, these data is communicate with each other. These data are analyzed, talk together to share information. So one takes information from the another and to coordinate the decisions. And after that, it, it takes the decision. Now, this is Internet of Things. Internet of Things means mobile phone is a part of or is a domain of IoT systems. And basically, Internet of Things means it is a communication between the sensors and actuators without the interference of human being, without the interference of human being. So why the internet is so uh, buzzing subject nowadays? Why? Why the internet? You know, my research scholar, I have, I have, I have, I have got four research, five research scholars who are working on the internet of things. One has already been out and he's having one IEEE paper, one, two patents he has got and we'll be writing one book on it, on it also. So, you know, what is the special thing in Internet of Things? Uh, Internet of Things? Why there are several courses in Internet of Things? Because, as I have told you during my session, uh, previous session, that means uh, when I, that engineer's work is to develop something which he can sell or which can be a part of a, which can be a part of a product which will value at which will do carry on the value addition to the product so that you can sell the product at a higher price okay that means uh, you want to set up an industry using some technology which is not there which is not very much there in the society in the, in the near about so that you can you can have some sort of monopoly and you can sell it you can sell it comfortably and with good profit margin with good reasonable profit margin so this is why the internet of things is getting and uh, is, is, is getting so much of research interest because semiconductor devices if you want to make some circuits some uh, even you can say if you want to make some uh, what is called uh, power electronic circuits also you cannot compete with china they have engulfed everything in the electronics domain they have made ready-made pcbs at a very low price throw away price your your, 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 even your component price will not be matching to their finished product price. So you cannot do business with uh, those electronics items. But using their component, using the Chinese hardware, using the hardware, cheap hardware, I will not say it's Chinese hardware, I will say the cheap hardware, you, you, if you can use it for some making some business using your intellectual, if your intelligent uh, coding, and uh, for some specific purpose which is not available in the market you will be you will you will, you will, you will, you will have a flourishing business say i am taking you telling one example have you heard the name of parkinson disease parkinson disease means what Your hand is trembling like this hand is trembling so what is the problem of the those persons they cannot eat they cannot hold the they cannot hold a spoon so that they can eat their food eating is a enormous problem for them so what you can do you put some strain gauge you put some uh, what is called uh, crystals what is called uh, the piezoelectric crystals on the both side of the hand okay so and also some vibration sensors which so understands the frequency of a vibration and the direction of your vibrations now what will happen if your hand tries to vibrate in the upward directions the sensors on the top of your hand will give pressure the downside so that that particular trembling towards the upside is slowed down or even even stopped similarly when you try, your hand tries to bend in the lower side you give pressure your sensor should give pressure on the upside so that your hand becomes steady great extent still and it can help in a, a it can help a Parkinson affected person to at least to eat comfortably and peacefully if you can make that instrument it will sell like anything okay so if, if you can make that, that type of instruments it will sell like anything so now the question is that 
how to make it internet of things means sensors different sensors are there they understand that they measure the different parameters and these parameters are calculated somewhere else we see this computer something is calculated that means the direction of motion and the force of motion and the corresponding and the corresponding uh, <coughs> signals actuator signals comes from the particular server and so that the proper voltage is the pro applied on the piezoelectric crystals so that the particular force is applied in the opposite direction and that man is and, and, and his dribbling becomes sought that means this is a this is one potential applications i also have some i also have some uh, idea how to uh, modernize the railways i i the railways so those things using those things i will tell you everything now let us understand how the iot works first then i will go to the applications which will make the things more interesting for you so inter so internet of things means sensors used to talk among themselves or sensors or actuators used to talk among themselves using some code and they take appropriate decisions without the intervention of human being smart sensors communicate smart sensors what is the difference between sensors and smart sensors i will come to you in details <coughs> talk to each other connect to the cloud or through the gateway or router smart sensors means the sensors fitted with a fitted with a, a processor plus redo plus a redo system that means communicating system sensors with some processors why processors i will tell you later on which makes it smart and a redo systems is this redo systems will help in communicating the data from the sensors to an intermediate place that is called gateway and from gateway it goes to the cloud cloud means a distributed computing and from there it is being processed and the corrective action comes from there to the exact node another node another actuators so the correct actuators this is the smart sensors data generated by the sensors can grow data generate Achha. now if i am telling you that about the sensors of the iraq world uh, field that means they were sending the video signals that means these signals these are the sensors means they are standalone things with small batteries and uh, if the sensor sends uh, this uh, this huge amount of so data video data means what huge amount of data one small battery dealing with huge amount of data and it is a very small in size and it is not kept in the air conditioned room so its computational power is limited so it is a that means it is internet of things has got the difficulty of energy and computational power but it has to handle big data like uh, video data how it can be done that is also research interest cloud is an iot facilitator cloud means distributed computing field you can use the cloud and uh, cloud uh, of course is uh, for iot when i'm teaching you when i'm talking to you about iot Cloud comes of, of course, cloud definitely comes, only cloud comes because everybody is resource constrained and energy constrained. So where the computation will be done at a very fast space in a real time speed, it is only cloud, cloud, which helps, which can help you. This is the thing. And so this is the components, sensors, gateway and cloud. These are the three components of a uh, IoT sensors are connected sensors or smart sensors having some processors and with a redo gateway is like a post office it receives the data from the sensors and sends it to the cloud and from the cloud the corrective action comes through the gateway and gateway routes it to the actuator for its proper action function for its action appropriate action taking action IoT definitions already I have told you IT can be viewed as a global infrastructure for the information. And that means already I told you, IoT enables physical objects to see, hear, think, and perform jobs by having them talk together to share information and to coordinate decisions. Next is what things things are two things mean sensors basically. Two type of things are there. 
one thing is physical things physical things mean exist in the physical world capable of being sensed this is his things mean sensors actuators okay and a combination of them so that means even uh, even the uh, cameras are also thing you can consider it as a thing industrial robots etc analytical equipment motors etc are all physical things which are driven by or which are managed by iot systems are called things what are the virtual things virtual things means exist in the information world capable of being stored processed and accessed that means these data virtual things means what the sensors collects data and sends it to the cloud for storage or further information extraction this is called virtual thing that means when this data is stored in the uh, in the cloud that means this data is being used it is used for uh, for several uh, information extraction and decision making this is called virtual thing so physical thing means sensors and virtual things means data processing in the cloud see here iot you can say it is a sort of iot architecture the you see the devices what is called device you have i i am showing you with this the color of the device so these are the devices the sensors okay devices with actuators it means gateways communication things physical things is that these are the physical things means sensors etc etc okay and this is how these are the virtual things means that so what happens the sensors data through the radio systems they communicate and through the gateway they send it to the cloud and cloud what the cloud does cloud does they can store it they can extract it from it and they can send it to the actuators which is that this is so so in this uh, business model the scale now things you see you can well understand now spectral uh which is running this is, this is uh, the push factoring they can have they can be they can inst uh, they can be guided by the internet uh, to us the culprit for pump also connected to internet how much petrol is there that is if a person has got lot of petrols that is two cloud he can know what is the position of his petrol of his petrol how much money how much petrol has been sold how much petrol has been uh, remaining in the storage how much petrol has been wasted etc etc he can get information this is a new thing that means if your car is so this is another business avenue i'm telling if your car has got sensors some, in some areas in some in the areas in the engine if the engine generates fault what will happen heat of the engine will increase sometimes uh, if there is a uh, leakage of mob mobile mobile or if there is a leakage of petrol that can also be if, if we can put some sensors over there those things those things the sale be continuously monitored by the company through internet and the slightest fault which can be generated which is just started initiated in the car that can be recorded by the company and they can immediately send their uh, they can send their, uh, they can send their uh, what is called mechanic to repair the car that means if mechanical fault occurs uh, and is taken care of at the initial level that it can be easily uh, repaired and at a very low cost so what will happen your car sale will increase if maruti can provide this type of facilities and you see what is a car maintenance is ours we can understand where the fault is generated we will send you uh, the mechanic and the mechanic will repair the car so the company will earn a huge reputation and he is in his sell in the market his competition will be will, will, he, will, 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 will be ruling the uh, car domain that means he will sell maximum so this is, uh, this is what is called uh, this is what is the benefits of internet of things now next is what is the information 
Professor Saha, I think uh, yes. some, there is some problem with the voice. Uh, it's breaking. Yeah, can you hear it now? Uh, probably this is better, yes. Yeah, I think you can hear, no? Yeah, this is better, yes. Okay. Uh, so, network condition is horrible here. So, simulation. Human to human interaction was there previously. After that, uh, of content, www domain has come. That web zero that we see productivity commerce has been evolved. So these are the predecessors of IoT. Social media, Skype, Facebook, YouTube, communication. And then after that, machine to machine learning. After that came machine to machine learning, machine to machine M to M, communication, tracking, monitoring, metering, automation, actuation, and payment. All these things. Even you see the Ola Uber, Ola Ola company or Uber company. This motor car motor companies. They are just they are just uh, earning money using IoT. Their sensor is just the mobile phones. Communication medium is the internet communication medium. They can track their taxes, they can track their vehicles, and they can program. Uh, the programming is there. If there is any uh, customer waiting, uh, has called for a taxi, he can, this person can, uh, uh, the, the central server can call the nearest taxi for, uh, to go to him, to go, to, to, uh, go and attend the customer. Even the payment, how much payment, how much money uh, the, uh, has been, how much is the, what should be the payment, that is also recorded to their monitor so that nobody can steal money. So all the monies will go to their account and that from their account, the money will come to the customer, uh, to the taxi driver owner. So all these things, the machine to machine is a machine to machine communications or internet of things. The example, with which fantastic, fabulous business is carried on is by Ola and Uber. Next is, you see, wireless sensor networks, as I have told you, during Iraq, Iraq, wire, Iran, Iraq, uh, USA, wire. these are the sensors. They are connected in a technology. So they select and sync out among them. Through which, through the gateway, they send it to the or, or, or internet, to the cloud, and they can, uh, they can get access. User is the control room of the ESA. So, from there, you understand the movement of the soldiers. And even if they use the drones, they can through gateway, they can uh, inform the drones to go and bomb them without uh, non human warfare. Okay, so this is, this is coming. This is in the battlefield. This is coming. The soldiers, non human robots will go for the battlefield and everything will be controlled by the IoT. Now, in IoT architecture, so IoT is basically, uh, I will say that, if you see the, you see the IoT architecture, first of all, <coughs> I have told you what is IoT, what it can do. Now let us uh, learn, let us understand how IoT works. These are the, you see, in the sensing and identification, GPS, smart devices, RFID sensors and different type of sensors are there. All are fitted with retros. They are the sensors. They are sensing and identification. Network constructions. There are several network WMAN, WLAN, Internet, WPAN. They are the sensor technologies used for these sense uh, for the information shown by these devices to the information processing center. That means cloud. This is information processing and integrating integrated applications. This is data center, search engines, smart decision, info security, data mining. So this is the whole domain is called the cloud domain, and it is the application application area. So where data is stored, and this data can be used for different purposes. Just data is very precious, you know. Data can be sold at a premium price, so data centers can serve the purpose. Data is coming day out and day out. So huge, huge amount of data is coming. Okay, so these data can be sold later on. So these data centers can serve the purpose cloud. Search engines, they can 
such say i say i want to search one criminal inside particular city so if i post his uh, his uh, i will say the criminals uh, photograph and and then what will happen the, <coughs> the everywhere in the city if it is a smart city there can be several cameras fitted in different several places of the city and uh, if the criminal is walking uh, in that particular city definitely the search engine will find him will find him out that yes this man exists in their city in this city now smart decision smart decisions is as far as i told you say there is a smart decision means what a building huge building 23 story building hot fire firing fire has occurred some accident has occurred disaster has occurred fire so what will happen how the how the disaster harms the people inhabitants people will run amok people will run here and there without understanding which is the safer direction in his direction he should run so that he can he can face uh, uh, he, he, there where, where there is no fire he doesn't know he doesn't understand naturally so what does how these systems will uh, iot system will save those persons the iot system if there are fire if there are some fire sensors in several places of the building then those fire sensors will send the data to the cloud and the cloud will chuck out a route where there is no fire so that will indicate the persons who has just come out of the room out of panic it will show that you run in this direction you run in this direction there is no fire you can get through so the casualty will be minimized so this is smart decisions in this country regular conditions nobody can take decisions only machines can take decisions you can you can you can think of this product also info security very very important things for which information security information security is very very important which is the drawback of iot acha can am i am i audible nicely yes sir yes sir yeah information security is the drawback of iot systems because i am using cloud and the cloud is used by thousands and thousands of people though cloud has got some security they claim that i am secure but hackers are the god if you find hackers you just salute them because they are the fantastic mathematicians they can do everything don't believe a place where everybody is there so information security is a great problem for uh, iot for which iot today is not being used in the banking system we have worked on it i will discuss with you how we have solved this problem using blockchain okay blockchain using blockchain we we can we can do something uh, information security we can do so uh, this is and also by changing the architecture of the iot the security systems information security can be uh, in, uh, can be can be improved so we are developing two systems in our nehu one is e voting systems voting systems you know we give vote during election so if instead of this uh, centralized booth system if we can do voting from houses by mobile phones with high security which has been provided by blockchain the lot of the minutes election minutes will go specifically in west bengal don't laugh is a minus in west bengal this can be solved so information security is a great thing is a great research area of uh, iot data mining data mining is a definitely a area of interest it is an emerging area it is a very very fertile area where lot of multinationals have jumped into to find the product mix what should be the product mix what they should go for research which which will give them the business advantage so data mining is the another tool so data is are coming from the sensors via the network to the cloud and these data is are used as a data center can be used for search engine for searching persons it can be made for search decision making so flat prediction is also another smart decisions information security if you can solve this problem you can use two beautiful things one is for banking utilization another is for e-voting data mining is used by the already lot of work 
huge amount of work is going on on the data mining using the IT tools. Uh, and data mining, the, the roadblock of data mining is that all the IoT devices are energy and constraint and resource constraint. They are very small, small things. So how to, I have got less power, but I want to do a huge amount of work. How can I do it? <laughs> that is a challenge. That, that is a challenge. So this is what it, what it is. Now, if I go to the protocol, you see that like this, perception layer, network layer, and application layer. See here, this is perception layer, lower one. This is the perception layer, layer, application layer. So <clears throat> this is the first type of IoT network. Then later on, IoT uh, network has been uh, divided and the protocols are divided in different parts. I will say from here, objects, objects means different sensors and all these things. Object abstractions. Object abstractions means is basically physical, uh, basically the physical composition uh, of the object. That is who, who are the sensors in one category. As other categories, and like this, like this. So these are the, uh, these are the ob object obstruction from the objects. Now, service management means what? How these data can be safely, uh, safely transmitted to the application layer. So, the service management specifically network layer is makes a safer transmission. Uh, Look for the cloud. Now, service completion. What is the service completion? Is you see the problem of the IoT system is that the sensors can use different technologies. Some sensors can work on Wi-Fi. Some sensors can is compatible to uh, GSM. Some is CDMA. And different sensors use different technologies. So you have to you have to you have to adapt the network heterogeneity. And you also adapt the data heterogeneity. The Britishers use FPS system, FPS systems, foot pound system. Indians use CGS systems. So if data is communicated between India and uh, some data say is, is coming from Britain as well as from India, Britain is sending them in FPS system, India is sending them in, in CGS systems. So they will, if they if they are combined together as such, there will be a lot of problems. Everything will be jeopardized. So what will happen? You have to make them. You have to understand which is which unit, which 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 data is of huge unit, and you have to make them in a common unit, so that this common unit, if 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 you want to convert everything into CGS, Indian data don't touch. You convert the British data into CGS units, and then you send it to the application layer. So it is network composition. Service composition means. It is heterogeneity removal. Heterogeneity with respect to network and heterogeneity with respect to data has to be removed over here. And after that, they can be sent to the application layer. So you can understand that is a perception layer, network layer, application layer. And from there, it is coming. It is further subdivided into objects, object abstractions, and object classification. Then management, that means which object will be sent through which communication medium so that they can be, they can be easily passed on. Service composition means how uh, this uh, heterogeneity can be removed. And that after removing the heterogeneity, then they will be safe, uh, safe that they can be transmitted safely to the application layer for doing the jobs which I have already shown. This is one, uh, one, one. this is the present. And the, and the same thing, which if you, do, if you use it for uh, the MNCs, MNCs meant multinational companies use these things in this particular manner. Next, you see the object, you see the object, abstraction, same thing, service management, same thing. Then service management, service management is also done. In the application layer, uh, those heterogeneities are removed, removed in the application layer because they directly send it to the network. But this is these heterogeneities solved, resolved. And it goes to the business layer. What is done in the business layer? Immediately, this data of a particular MNC, they analyze it with the graphs and all other things. And they analyze what is the demand, what, will, what can be the future demand, how the demand can be boosted up, what should be the product miss so that your uh, your business will increase, etc., etc. Those decision making are made in the business layer, which is automated, totally automated. So this is for MNCs. 
IoT used in MNC, IoT used in public domain, and this is the in between this uh, conventional and the modern IoT. This is in between the layer. Diamond layer, you understand, foundation layer, middleware layer, and application layer is just the first all of them are the same. Next is these are the sensors devices used for the IoT. I am telling you, no? sensors are connected with uh, communication uh, and connected with some devices uh, that are some uh, processors as well as one uh, as well as one communication devices. You see, every sensor, everybody has the sensors. This is a higher band. That means your temperature, your pulse state, etc., etc., monitored and sent to the nearest hospital. Okay. So this is uh, one type of sensor. Another type of sensors, the humidity and pressure sensors are there. But all the sensors are smart. Smart means they are connected with embedded systems as well as with some communication devices. So these are the sensors. What are the in between? These are the technologies which where where it has been used this area. Network construction. Network construction we generally use. Technology. Technology. Bluetooth. Uh, near, Bluetooth, you know, the near communications. GB. GB, I think you have heard the name of GB. GB is the very low power communications, a very uh, stout, it's very good communication uh, media or device or technology. GB's problem is that it's a little low one is a bit difficult. A bit, a bit difficult. Next is ZF is another another medium. I'm, I'll be telling you in details about this. What is Wi-Fi is another communication medium. Cellular, cellular means our cell phones. Near field communications, LoRa. LoRa is very nice. LoRa, I'm using LoRa. LoRa one. Okay. So, and you see Bluetooth. Bluetooth is, you use Bluetooth where your communication should be, should be done with less than 100 meters. Uh, uh, what, what it is this is the what, 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 what that are it. Security is 120 bit AES, latency 6 millisecond, latency means uh, RTT, round trip time, and consumption is 2.1 milliampere, depending on, on, depending on the use case. This is the packet, this is the packet uh, architecture. This is the packet architecture of the iot bluetooth systems okay so everything in details i cannot discuss here because i told you that i will tell you what are the basic technologies and i will give you one paper also at the end of this at the end of this particular session and i will tell you basically i was a genetic engineer previously i learned about the genes and all these things and uh, system biology drug design but that particular paper has made me immensely interested in IoT and uh, it has lured me towards this direction. Of course, I got patents also, I got ITBL papers also in a very short time, in uh, from 2016 onwards. I started studying on this and now this is IoT is my area of research. I'm not thinking of those gen genetic areas right now because genetic areas are giving me so many good results, but you cannot implement them. You cannot implement them. You cannot make them product. So I am not interested. I am as engineer. Now I am interested about this IoT because I can make product out of it. Next is Jigby. Jigby is this is the packet configurations. Jigby is used for uh, range is 300 meter within 300 meters. And set uh, is this. And security is one is latency 140 milliseconds is very really bad latency 140 milliseconds means latency is very bad and uh, power consumption is 40 milliampere that means you see jigby is i am telling you jigby takes a low power so for transmission 40 milliampere is not a matter of joke for battery okay now no, no but z wave is another technology communication technology uh, it is uh, if it is for indoor, it is 30 meters. For outdoor, it is 100 meters. 40 Mbps, 120 bit AES implementation. Latency is extremely bad. 1000 milliseconds. Power consumption is UCL. Power consumption is very low. 2.5 million. So you have to understand so where you are using. If your power is at premium, latency is not premium. 
latency is not a problem if you if your information going and coming takes some time say a one second or two second is nothing for you you can use jpeg because your battery will last long this is wi-fi you see the wi-fi wi-fi is um, all my students are using wi-fi but this is the packet uh, architecture uh wi-fi 100 meter distance around about 54 mbps is a very high communication speed uh security is 128 aes rc4 stream cipher you see the latency is quite good excellent latency one to three milliseconds that's why we are my students are using this power consumption is 116 milliseconds yes that's that so if you want latency if your speed is your concern use use wi-fi speed is your concern you use wi-fi where the speed is concerned let me tell you one story nowadays uh, you see two types of two types of uh, persons or professionals are very much precious one is doctor and one is teacher good doctors very good surgeons you cannot produce them easily by some professional studies you, you put them in iits you will be very excellent you will be very excellent engineer or put them in some such and such, and such medical college all the students will be excellent surgeon no never happens it depends on the person similarly a good teacher is also premium good teacher means good teachers his auditorship is excellent so <clears throat> they are premium so what happens say one surgeon is roaming around the world he is somewhere she is somewhere this experiment was carried out she is she was in uh, she was in london and the patient was in italy but some urgent surgery has to be carried out so what happens so the iot came to the, uh, the, 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 the uh, experimentation was done with iot so what happened you know that patient's three-dimensional figure was made using wax and the surgeon carried out operation on the wax on the on the dummy and on the other side of the italy the robots used to carry out the same mimic the same movement of the knife to carry out the operations of course in the first or first second or third uh, experimentation was done under the supervision of a group of surgeons who were surrounding that so in case of any mistake they could take up but fortunately it was found that in the both the cases it was successful there they use wi-fi because surgeon is moving his hand and it should be mimicked it should be mimicked very very instantaneously so this remote surgery so remote surgery is uh, uh, is, is one one of the things uh, which uh, people think that this will solve many problems of the medical domain cellular cellular is you see also very bad 53 milliseconds latency power consumption is extremely bad you see the distance is excellent over the air over air data is mbps data rate is excellent cellular but power is power is a uh, power consumption is extremely bad but i am using this thing in our relay modification that means you know that means some okay i will tell you later on uh near field communication near field communication is uh, basically uh, infrared communication type of things distance is five centimeter that means telephone your telephone that means your remote telephone that means you are taking uh, the speaker on your on your on your, on your ear and uh, the telephone our main unit is a little bit away from you so that wireless system so like like that only a mouse wireless mouse etc etc okay so it is 50 million the power consumption is 50 million so it is like lora i'm using lora is excellent lora's you see range is 10 kilometer because of our railway systems we are using lora it is giving me excellent results lora's whole packet uh, that means packet architecture is like this and lora's ah, distance range is 10 kilometers and uh, data is 50 kb uh, kilobits per seconds good enough security is 128 bits aes i am not bothering on that it is there there but i am using 
uh, blockchain and power consumption is 2 milliampere look power consumption is 2 milliampere so good it is excellent okay next is loda is the for uh, long distance communications loda works excellent and you can use loda for making any defense related equipment now how it is where you can use how it is i told you two instances one is a medical instances basically one is uh, doctor surgery and another i have told you that how a parkinson disease you can develop one instrument for that myself <laughs> tried to uh, uh, try to iotize the railways try to iotize the railway systems so that i want to make a company so that the uh, which will uh, which will make iotization of the railways what will be the result outcome there will be little or no accident because it will take care of the track it will take care of the signaling system it will take care of the engine health and it will take care of the bogies and coaches and as well as the reservation systems this is my was my aim so what i have done is that every you know when we are moving with the railways there are there are uh, uh, there are you know signal posts so in the engine in the different pertinent positions i have put the sensors temperature sensors pressure sensors like that these two sensors are basically required so and we know that if the temperature of this particular zone goes up and associated this pressure goes up so i have made a smart chart so as per that particular expert uh, chart if i find some problem is being generated it is immediately transmitted to the by the engine engine is carrying with its like a transmission system it will be transmitted to the nearest signal post and near by loda and that that one will be transmitted further to the central office uh, head office and head office will inform the nearest junction station keep one engine ready this engine is generating this type of fault so please replace the engine this is number one benefit number two is that my railway line is a railway line if there is any fracture in the railway line is uh, fracture is already been generated or on the on the verge of generation you know there is a sound when you move with the railway the sound is generated you will find the sound always disturbing you this sound if i do the fourier transform of this sound i can understand I, from the analyzing the fourier transform of the sound we can analyze what is the health of that particular track if there is any crack or any weak point on the track it will immediately be flashed in the sound system it reflected in the sound system and i can know for at what distance it is there so if already there is a crack the engine will know at least 5 to 6 kilometers away so that it can stop or if it finds that something is going on something not good the health is not good it will immediately inform to the nearest post so that uh, here the crack is uh, here I, I i found some sound which is wrong with the track please look take care number 2 so the maximum accident occurs due to the cracking of the track these two problems gone third problem is parting of the train coaches parting of the train coach very rare but it happens this will take care fire in the railway coaches many times this has happened railway coach railway is running and there is some fire has uh, fire incident has occurred in some coach and it burned so many people so fire alarm will immediately be raised in the engine driver's cabin so it will know so in this way and and also the uh, and also uh, if the if the if the if the gate is uh, is, is manned by if the gate is in or uh, machined by by uh, some system where you will put the you will put the particular what is called your ticket numbers and or you show the uh, ticket and then the gate if you are a valid if you are a valid passenger then it, the gate will open otherwise not so you can take care of this thing and signaling systems signaling systems means it will know the signaling systems of the whole things because all the trains are running and uh, and which train is running in which track everything is stored in the cloud and if by chance two trains come on the same track cloud will uh, not understand it and it, it will immediately switch off the power 
of head uh, uh, the, uh, the power of the <coughs> of the transmission line so that this both the trains stop so this is the things which i have thought of and i have made four research scholars to work on it so for that reason what first research scholar did they made the architecture what the second research scholar did they made he made because because sensors are there uh, everywhere somebody by mischief can put one sensor to give wrong information so that for the protection security we have to go for very long range security very tough security so we have used another research scholar for blockchain involvement fourth is a third research scholar for uh, image analysis and all these things and so big data or data data analysis data analytics so the he is working she is working on that the fourth one is what should be the appropriate protocol for the whole system so that our power consumption is minimized and dynamicity is also increased so in this way the whole system was developed so i have used lora one lora is fantastic we are working over there next is issues you see when i am working with uh, when i was uh, when initially when i started my research i started working with the <coughs> iot systems and uh, iot systems when i started working i find that there are so many difficulties and later on i found in the textbook in the papers that yes these difficulties are there in the iot systems that's why iot system is not still a very popular systems in the worldwide it should get huge amount of popularity because of its uh, because of its usefulness but it does not achieve that why because of there are several uh, difficulties i'm showing you in nutshell the challenges which is the research problem which you can do if you want paper i am telling you this is if you want paper you can handle this you can touch these things but if you want something product you think otherwise anyway so i am telling you what are the problems standardization is a problem because it has been developed by different countries with the different standardizations it says they are not been used widely so the standardization common standardization platform is not been used architecture iot architecture varies on its, uh, uh, you can say, that is from utilization to utilization. MNC's architecture is something, MNC companies, their architecture will be different from the hospital architecture. Hospital architecture will be entirely different from the my architecture where I'm using for railways. And when you will be designing your, your, your utility, you have to use some other architecture. So architectures are widely varied. So you have to uh, make all the architectures cannot be put in one common platform. I do agree with you, but some sort of common skeleton uh, architecture uh, uh, this development should be there. So that is still an, uh, not a prominent one, but still it is a, a research one. Next is interoperability and integration. This is a great problem. Interoperability and integration. What is interoperability? Say in Shillong city, there are <coughs> various uh, mobile phones are used from the various places. That means, say, from Bangladesh, somebody has entered, he has come with a mobile phone of different systems. From, uh, say, Burmese, say, uh, they have come with some different mobile systems. Russians are moving with different mobile systems. systems of. So you are, you are dealing with so many of uh, heterogeneous networking systems. So you have to make them in the common platform. So interoperability, network interoperability, uh, interoperability is a problem, still a problem. Achha. Availability and reliability. Availability is another problem. Availability means anytime, anywhere network. It's a problem. Anytime, anywhere network is a still a problem because you see, if I want to increase the range of IoT, I have to install gateways in so many places, I have to connect the gateways with the, uh, configure the gateways with the cloud. So availability is costly, availability is manpower consumable and moreover, those gateways has to be checked every time whether they are okay or not. It involves manpower, it involves uh, uh, the installation cost and everything. So availability is a problem for IoT. See, I am telling, talking about railways. Availability is a great problem. Railways is thousands and thousands of kilometers. How can I manage them? I am telling, I'm, I'm, I'm dancing with Laura. Why? Dancing gives me bandwidth up to seven kilometers. I'm dancing with it. 
reliability reliability means say in the particular uh, this uh, lamp uh, that means signal post if two of the signal post the uh, the, uh, the receiver system is gone out of order yeah so you are in a problem the system may collapse the system may give you wrong results some informed informations cannot be passed on so how to design a system which will take care even if three or four consecutive uh, the worst condition it should work consecutive uh, these signal post transmitters are gone out of order still the system should run this is the reliability how the reliability of the systems must be reliability is a very very important thing with respect to the systems like railways and others then data processing data storage and data visualizations okay data storage i have told you data heterogeneity of data is there so heterogeneity data has to be removed first for processing and visualization is another problem visualization by human being and visualizations by the same things I mean sensors by actuators is totally different today i have got this motor i have got i have got one type of stepper motor with which uh, the my my cloud is communicating through the gateway for corrective taking corrective measure tomorrow i can change you to some other motor other motor from other company so it's 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 communication the total if the same signals comes to it it will give you wrong result so what is what should be the solution if the if i change the actuator automatically the information should go to the transmitted to the cloud and so that automatically the code the program should adjust itself to send the signals to its compatibility scalability scalability is another problem scalability is another problem scalability means what if i want to expand calcutta is increasing calcutta is increasing leaps and bounds delhi is increasing like anything the city is increasing so if we want to put delhi under as a smart city every day Every day, I don't know. Every six months, you have to uh, you have to increase the number of gateways and all these things. All the instruments you have to increase that co that cost uh, money, that cost manpower, and all these things. We have we have uh, the scalability is issue. Okay, the management and self configuration. That's I have already told. Security and privacy is a great problem. I told you, security. I IoT doesn't provide any good security. That's why bank doesn't use it till now. Power and energy consumption is a great problem for which it is still a research issue for big data analysis and network performance and QS. Obviously, network performance, how the network is performed under different conditions, different architectures, different protocols, and uh, how the quality of services are maintained. So, uh, it can be standardized. That is also another problem. So, these are the challenges of IoT. Till now, I am telling you there are huge, huge amount of problems. And each of them can give you two or three, at least five or six results. The researchers can be come out from this particular domain. Next is IT challenge. The same thing I have written here: self-organizing, data volume, interoperability, which I have told you. The same thing I have written here. Three problems that can be solved by IoT: the security management, okay, biometric sensors, facial recognition, yeah, security management, footprint sensors. And more increase in the security in the homes and offices and buildings. Yeah, you see facial recognition. This is the one thing which I have implemented. We have developed a car. We have developed a system in a car. If the driver is sleeping or driver is feeling sleepy or boozy, so what will happen? His eyelid movement will be slower, so it will catch that, and immediately it will understand that driver is sleepy, so immediately it will. Uh, it will give information to the nearest police station, and it will make a buzzing sound, huge amount of volume of sound, so that the driver can understand it. A driver can wake up, become alert. If driver is not alert, that means the driver has has alcohol. Immediately, it will stop the car and it will give information to the nearest police station. That is uh, that we have done with the, uh, the IoT systems in BTEC project. And facial recognitions. Say your car. You are allowing your car to be driven by same system. Same system can do it. You are allowing your car to be driven by you and your wife, and nobody else. I may be your driver. That's all. Three persons. So what will happen if any thief by chance 
breaks open your car and tries to tries to uh, just uh, uh, drive your car away so what will happen the face facial recognition it will not understand it will understand that it is not one of the three persons who is driving the car it will fuel supply will be stopped so the thief cannot take your take away your car and on the other hand it will send a sms to your uh, mobile phone that uh, your your car is a threat please rush so this is we have done it we have done it using ptech boys and we have you have gone for patenting also we have applied for patent for this okay footprint sensors uh, footprints uh, footprint sensors means yeah this is used i have not done it but this is used by the foreign athletics athletes very much those who are the runners swimmers etc they have see the pressure that means the way they run that that the shoe is very very important their shoe is very very important for their performance if the shoe uh, is, uh, uh, is 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 objectionably erased or is objectionably abrasted that means it will give some inclination bad inclination which will harm that athletic athletes uh, this uh, this uh, legs or you can see his bone systems or ligaments everything it will injure it may injure it so what happens you know their athletic shoe is fitted with a sensor which measures the which measures the sole how much sole is abraced out how much sole has been uh, has been abraced out and how much sole is tilted like that and if it founds and the data is sent continuously to the cloud and when it is found that that abrasion level is dangerous for the athlete when the athlete tries to wear on that particular shoe he will get a shock capacitor discharge will occur in his leg so that he will understand this shoe i cannot wear this shoe if i if i if i wear this shoe i will be getting shock okay health emergencies you know health emergencies you can well understand that well the emergencies i have told you one emergency is that how a uh, parkinson disease person can help himself for eating his own food number one number two in a hospital specifically in the covid hospitals Delhi has got a hospital has developed one outdoor hospital of 10000 beds do you think that is possible to employ 5000 nurses over there no not that much nurse is not available so what happens they these all the sensors all the all the that means uh, biomedical instruments fitted with it those which are of life saving category they are fitted with some sensors uh, radios and they are centrally transmits the data to the server bed wise if any patient develops some complication it will give a alarm and doctors will or nurses will rush to him or if any patient have some emergency from discomfort so if a patient is so weak that he cannot uh, he cannot uh, do his all that uh, all his works to, uh, that is uh, the uh, what is called uh, toilet works in his himself and if he feels in that way so he will he will put push a button and that will call that particular alarm push an alarm to the nurse systems and they will come and rush to it so health emergencies this is very good and another thing is that if you are if you are you are having a uh, cardiac surgery and then you have to have that particular ring on your hand when you walk and when you do everything those data will automatically be transmitted to the hospital and hospital persons will not hospital persons will not look at your data those will be analyzed automatically by the cloud and if it finds any discrepancy immediately it will call it will transmit it to the hospital doctor and doctor will call you come and meet me you have got some problem this is health emergencies agricultural problems agricultural problems i'm telling you this is a good sector very good sector you know lot of our lot of our agricultural products are wasted by Uh, wasted by pests and rats and all these things, and some pests attack the uh, crops at night. So even if you have got lot of manpower at night, you cannot work. At night, you cannot see the pest. So what happens, you know? So you can use drones fitted with infrared camera. Fitted with infrared camera, the drones will move around the vast field. crop field and it will detect which particular segments of that crop field has been infected by those insects 
and it will that drone will be fitted with some spray machines to kill the insects. It will automatically spray that particular pesticide over there and it will come back. So your crop management will be excellent. So you will hot lab it. So that will result into an enhanced production. Number one. Number two, very, very important for UP. UP and other places, Bihar. Your, already the groundwater level has gone to the dangerously low level. Dangerously low level. So that can convert those places into, 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 into deserts, maybe in near future. So what is the solution? Solution is sprinkling water, what Israel is doing. Sprinkling uh, agriculture, water agriculture. That means what? When it, there will be some sensor in the, in the, in the, uh, there will be some sensors on the soil. When the soil will, uh, when the soil will get, uh, when you will find that the soil is uh, getting out of humidity, the humidity level is very low, the sprinkling will start and so that uh, with less amount of water, you can get good crop. Road traffic management, of course, another thing you all, all understand. And energy conservation is also thing. How energy conservation can be done? See, there you have high rises buildings are there. So in these high rise buildings, what you have to do is that there are unnecessary lights which are lit up everywhere. So uh, the sensor will understand there is little movement of the human being in this particular sector. It will switch up the light automatically. It will switch up the light automatically. Okay, in some house, say some person has forgot to switch off his uh, uh, air conditioner. The air conditioner is running without any person. So what will happen? It will observe it. It will observe it, the movement in the home. If there is no, if, if there is no person, no movement of the human being is seen, or if there is no human being is seen in there, then automatically it will switch off the air conditioner. So energy conservation is another very good thing in the buildings, uh, in the high-rise buildings. Uh, by IoT systems. These are the things which you can think of. We have developed one landslide monitoring in our Shillong, in our hilly places. There are a lot of landslides occurs and that causes huge amount of deaths. So we have developed with the BTEC boys, tried to develop, but unfortunately lockdown came around. So we couldn't see the end of it. We couldn't commercialize, neither we could, uh, neither we could uh, 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 this uh, patent it. Uh, applied for patenting it. So it is like this, we just see the uh, humidity of the uh, soil and we see the rainfall of the above the soil and we see another is displacement uh, sensor is there inside the soil. So what I when I when the humidity level re reaches some dangerous level, rainfall above the soil is at a, as a, at a bad level, at a dangerous level. And if there is a slightest movement of the soil is seen, this by the displacement sensor, it will automatically, these three values will go to the cloud and it will understand the landslide will start at any moment. In, a, in this case, it will automatically send a hooder signal. It will switch on the hooder signal of the nearby village uh, to warn them, please go away from your house. Anytime landslide can occur. So this can save uh, many of the people, many of the people there. Okay. So this is uh, the things, and this is a flood monitoring system. The rainfall gauge, you just see the rainfall in the catchment areas, okay? And uh, you see also the water level at different places, pertinent points, and we can predict there can be a, uh, there can be a, there is imminent danger of flooding or not. So those things can be done using this. Industrial management, I have already discussed. Now, one very important thing I am coming here, Smart sensor. What is smart sensor? I'm let, time is not there. Let, that's why let me tell you very shortly. You know, every sensor has got some noise. These are the noise. Every sensor has got some noise, inherent noise in it. Now, as I have told you, I'm using landslide sensor. So, in the landslide sensor, sometimes say it may happen that uh, after five, four or five years, some worried high tension worried where has been gone over it, has been has been wasted over it. Has been installed over it. So what will happen? High voltage where that means the sensor signal is very slow. Weak. The noise of the electrical signal will spoil it completely. The noise, 50 hertz noise will come and that will uh, disturb the sensor's integrity. Okay, so what will happen? The sensor will understand 
his noise level, its noise level has increased. And it will analyze which frequency it is. It will analyze that 50 hertz frequency is prominent in, in that particular noise level. So what it will do, I have told you that it has got a embedded processor. So it will switch on the 50 hertz noise filter so that the sensor's data when transmitted, it is filtered with the 50 hertz noise. So that the effect of the worried, the effect of the worried, uh, this uh, worried wear, the high tension wear is gone. That means you can put your sensor anywhere and any type of noise has got the liberty to attack it. But your sensor is, should be smart enough to understand it and to rectify it. That is called smart sensor. You understand it? Smart sensors means your sensors, when attacked by some unknown disturbance or power vibrations, it has to first understand it and it has to nullify it using that particular processors. That is called smart sensors. And another thing is that, say, during winter, the temperature of Shillong, uh, maybe some place, is um, from minus 5 degrees centigrade to 10 degrees centigrade. Okay. And during winter, maybe it goes up to 50, 70, 80 degrees centigrade. Okay. So, or, or else you can think it in, in a way, one sensor, which can measure, which can... Uh, which, which is sometimes is used for measuring temperature in the minus scale. And the same sensor, if you want to use it for measuring the temperature of a furnace, what you have to do? You have to increase the range of the sensor, measuring range. So how will you do that? By using this particular smart, by using this particular smart embedded uh, microcontroller. Temperature range adjustment up to certain level, of course noise cancellations up to certain extents, of course. This is called smart sensors. The smart sensors. Highly used. You see one particular patient in the brain operation has been carried out. Two sensors are there. You see the red lights. Two sensors. Here, two sensors. That is just coming from the brain. Signal is very very, very similar in the range of microvolts. Any device can disturb it any time. So you have to have to understand it and cancel it. So this is your smart sensor. This shoe, I told you, the shoes of the athletes, if the inclination level that is, then uh, his, uh, his ligaments will be affected. So I put this particular sensor into this particular sensor, into, into his shoe. And you see, this is the this is the, so this is the data. What is the how much abduction has occurred in this shoe, and it goes to the and the clouds are suitable conditions. Whether the shoe is safe for him or not, if it is not safe, it will keep the capacity discharge on his leg, so that this person never uses it. Okay, now there are sensor systems where multiple sensors are where multiple sensors are embedded into a single sensor system. Okay, they are, can be used for multiple sensors, non-stationary, stationary sensors. They are used specifically by the, the array of sensors. You see the array of sensors. Okay, so they are used uh, for specific purposes, for specific jobs. Okay, and they can be heterogeneous sensors, they can be homogeneous sensors. That means they can be the same sensors or they can be different sensors, but depending on different working conditions different environmental conditions. So these are the things, sensors which we use. But everybody has to have it. You see this particular uh, microcontroller with it to make it smart. So ultimately the smart sensor means sensing elements, as you said, microcontroller for processing and for communication and reception. It has to transmit the data, and sometimes it has to receive the data also. Sensor is this. So, the sensor which you teach in the class or you understand is different in case of IoT. In case of IoT, sensors with smart sensors having these three components sensing elements, microcontroller, and transistor. Next is uh, what are the characteristics of data, uh, sensor characteristics of IoT, data filtering? The 
number one. Number two, minimum power consumption. That means, say, if your uh, if your data has to be transmitted. So, so what I told you that uh, uh, this one uh, landslide sensor. Landslide sensors means what? Where it, will it be? It's uh, server. Maybe, 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 maybe ten miles away. Maybe five miles away. So you have to use LoRa. And it is, believe me, the place is so inaccessible. You cannot imagine. Pull up jungle. To go there, you require one day. By foot, you, there is no other way you can go there. So uh, you cannot frequently go at a sweet wish to change the battery. So battery, you have to use that particular systems, communication system will be consume minimum power. So LoRa is the thing. The compact, it cannot be very big one. Smart detections, smart detections means that means detection should be very fast. High sensitivity, high reliability. Reliability means this failure probability is very less. That means all the sensors are coated with something which makes it highly reliable. That means it easily it will not be damaged. Dynamic range, that means its range can be varied by the processors. Accuracy is good, limited noise, of course, is not must be limited. Wide bandwidth, minimum interruption minimum in interruptions okay so these are the characteristics of the smart sensors the same thing which i have told you data collection data processing useful information and sometimes a decision making process but sometimes sensors take the decision yes if so the cloud okay that in the cloud what happens that collection is off data processing is off is happening they extract the useful information and this is where the data processing in the ai takes a very important role AI, let me tell you one thing. I have one student who done research on AI in river interlinking. River interlinking of the Northeast. He has used AI extensively. Believe me, his one program takes seven days to eight days for a computer to run and give some result. Do you think if, uh, if I give this much of time for an IoT, which is a real-time system, will it work nicely? It will never work nicely. So data analysis has to be done very fast. So for that, this is a research scope. This is a research scope. That means same data analysis has to be done very fast in a real-time basis. How will you do that? This is a research area. You can think of those who are work, interested about working with IoT, with uh, AI applied in IoT, they can use this particular area for research. Next. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is not okay. factors to be considered while selecting sensors, measuring range, environment, in what environment you are using them, signal conditioning, what type of signals can disturb it. So signal conditioning filters should be built in it. Flexibility, it must be flexible, low cost digital, intelligent sensors, adapt intelligent sensors, uh, can be scaled, calibrated and configured remotely. Intelligent sensors means it can be calibrated remotely. So I have told you, no? Particular sensors are situated in a place which will take one day to two days to go. So, how do you calibrate it? You can have to have to access that. Uh, how you can do it? Somewhere you can send some information about which select this particular sensor and this how do you inform the processor unit of that particular entity to attach to the sensors to do the necessary modifications? Okay, so. Presentations, these are yes. So, overview of the hardware platform sensors, communication, network, gateway, and internet. This is the whole thing. This is the whole thing. This is the device level, sensors, thing, and communication. And network level is gateway and internet and other patient making extra. This is the arch another architecture in a different way, actually. Actuators. What is the actuators? Actuators I have not talked about. Actuators means the main output. Of the components, they alter the surroundings. Some examples are adding light, heat, and sound. And the switching on light or switching off the light, heat, and sound. Controlling motors to move objects. That means you want to move some object from here to there, or you have to control some temperature. That means you have to uh, you have to you have to uh, just uh, move some bulb like that. So you have to control some knob. So you have to use some stepper motor for it. Switching message. Or actuators. This is the hands with which the system works. 
things been censored. This I have already talked. Communications I have already talked. Acha, yes, this is another thing. Uh, communication uh, is basically the protocol used is 102.15.4 protocol and uh, 102.11 These two protocols they are using. When you are using one particular switch, you can adapt this particular uh, protocol. You cannot take this protocol in the This becomes foreign at the So that's a problem. So for that reason, we already have patented it. We have made a switch which can adapt both of them, which can adapt, both, which can work with both of them. That means it takes if 102.11 comes, so it converts it into this particular 102.15.4 configuration and sends and works accordingly. Okay, so this is already discussed. Networks uh, already have said Internet of Things. Gateway networks already have said this is the protocol stack. See here the protocol stack for uh, protocol stack for IoT uh, things. See there are three entities. One is thing means sensors. Another is gateway, and the last is server or internet or cloud. So everyone is guided by some protocol. So you see, this is the thing. Application, TCP, UID, network IP, and this is uh, this is the physical layer. 100, uh, 102 and 15.4 is the protocol. Is the physical layer, and this is the thing. And the, another thing that there can be a series of sensors, all of them having the same protocol stack. Gateway has got this protocol stack. Gateway is a post which I told you. So Gateway has got 102.3 Ethernet or 100.2.15.4. I'm using this one, 100.2.15.4 and network IP and then it transmits it to the server and server has got all the layers. Okay. Now when one sensor wants to transmit via this gateway to the server, what are the protocol stack you see? So this to the application, this gate so then it is it is multi hopping. You see it goes to the next sensor, it goes to the network level, then it comes over here, then 102.15.4 to the network IP, it goes to the Final uh, cloud server and up to the application layer. Cloud server from the cloud server it goes to the application layer and application layer communicates to the user. This is the protocol stack of the IoT. Okay. Now next is <coughs> next is I told you already that particular uh, this I am again giving you short range, local range, and wide range. What you should use for low range, short range, PSD. You can work with uh, local range. Locally, that means I am working with Wi Fi. GPI I never used. Uh, it generally work with Wi Fi. Okay, so, uh, wi Fi and uh, Bluetooth is also we are using in short range. But LoRa is working excellent for me in case of our, uh, LoRa is very long distance. LoRa is uh, consumption is very low. And uh, so LoRa is good for me. For industrial use, you must use LoRa. Now, what is the baud rate? Hmm. This is the baud rate as we have given. With this to the distance, the baud rate varies. So, 1 kilometer to 10 kilometer is the LoRa. Cellular is also like that. So, this is the communication technology which is involved into it. It's 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 it's, it's a common domain between the electronics engineers and electric and the or, IT, IT or computer science engineers. Now, potential users, I have already told you healthcare, agriculture, smart house, vehicle, vehicle already told, schools, market, industries, and transportation. Everything I have covered. Uh, now, this is the, I am showing you one instrument which we have used during one instrument which i have very much used this is a, there are six sensors cc2650 this is easily available in india cost about 3500 rupees this one you can use while uh, doing your research here there are six sensors with some communication device and it's a sensor cc2650 it is a ti instrument this thing ir thermopile temperature sensor is there 9x motion sensor is there you see the standard wireless mcu 
the wireless MC is also there. These are human resources there. The license is there. Automated pressure sensor is there. And there is also internal microstream antenna is there. And RF on RF is also there. So uh, the communication device along with six sensors, fantastic thing. You should work with this thing so that your, you can do your research with low cost. Very low cost. Now, this is an introduction of IoT. Now, IoT has got various difficulties, I have told you. Basically, availability, scalability, power issues, okay? Then, uh, <coughs> reliability. So, how to solve them? How to solve these issues? This is a pertinent research issue. When I started working with IoT, these issues has uh, has excited me very much, and uh, myself with the, one of my research scholar has uh, devoted completely how to mix SDN, hybridize SDN, software defined radio, software defined network with IoT systems, so that most of the difficulty is gone. And if I can associate SDN with the fog computing and blockchain technology very nicely, I solve almost all the problems. Now, really, we are working with big data, which still we are. Uh, the, the lady who is working there is very slow. She is not working up to my expectation. So, this one, heterogeneity part I have done, but big data I have not gone till now. So, how much big data? But definitely, it will work better than the IoT systems. So, these are the advanced IoT systems. We'll use these tools software defined network, for computing, and blockchain technology for security and blockchain has got one sister has come blockchain's brother has come you know china c-h-i-n-a remove n what is remaining chia chia is another equivalent blockchain technology fantastic technology blockchain is very slow blockchain is not very slow it's comparatively slow but chia is very fast chia is very good technology you can think of chia and big data uh, how and big for big data we have we cannot big data Analysis, uh, this is IoT is not good. IoT, existing conventional IoT, which I have discussed today, is not good. Not very much pertinent. So for that reason, we require some special architecture. These things I will discuss with you when I will be discussing with you about the advanced architecture for real-time applications. So those at that time, I will discuss with you all these things. Okay. Now, I think... Uh, I am already uh, nearing one o'clock since I have started a bit late, <laughs> 20 minutes late. So I took a long time. Uh, I'm nearing to the end. So I think, uh, thing, okay. I One thing I missed to tell you, uh, one thing I have, this is a very blunder for me. If I don't mention this to you, the waste aquatic systems, which we use for IoT environment for making an IoT environment is basically contacting. Okay, is 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 is, is contacting. Uh, I'm telling you, uh, Artos based contact, real time operating system based contacting. Then in tiny OS, T I N Y O S, light OS, L I T E, light OS, R I O T OS, and O A A. O A is made by Google. So. These are the five uh, ways. And Kontaki is very famous, old, but very famous and very stable. Kontaki is very stable and it has been uh, working fantastic. Artos based Kontaki, tiny ways, light ways, R, IoT, and OAA. Now, another thing I'd like to tell you say, if you want to make something, you have this, developed some uh, architecture first. Then uh, develop some suitable or modify these contact ways suitably for that particular architecture. Then you use it. But how will you use it? You have developed something in imagination. You have drawn it in your book and you will use it. You will purchase the instruments as for that. No, never do it. You can be 100% wrong in your thinking. Okay. So what you do is that Kontaki has a simulator called Kuza. C-O-O-G-A. Kuja. Puja simulator is there. So you put everything in the Puja simulator, your ideas, your architecture, your 
uh, tiny ways installing it and <clears throat> you modify where it is required which portions you require to modify do it on the simulators itself and see what is this performance on the simulator if you find good result in the simulator then think of purchasing the hardware then think of the purchasing the hardware and arrange the hardware you see what how we have arranged it the sensor nodes the edge controller this is for sdn basically this is for not for you i will teach i will tell you later on this is the raspberry pi we have used and this is the cloud i have simulated cloud by a server hpc server so this is the test bed example so then you do it with the test bed after the test bed has been implemented then you go for commercialization it is totally a different story altogether this is a totally different story altogether now what type of hardware is generally used it is arduino udo U D O O R A R M, Intel Galileo, Intel Galileo hardware platform is used. Raspberry Pi, I use Raspberry Pi. I have used Raspberry Pi only. I do know sometimes I use, but then I didn't find very nice. But I have heard that Intel Galileo is working nice. ARM is also ARM is not that much good. Bagel bin bone, I have not I have not used it. Cubic bone, I have not used it. Jedi, I have not used it. Wisense, not used it. Mule, I have not used it. But Emote Sky, I was I was very much in search of Emote Sky sensors uh, type of devices. But these are uh, manufactured in Spain. I tried to contact this company for getting some modes, M O T E S, but uh, uh, which will, which I'll be using for testing the uh, uh, protocol. That means. Waste protocols of this, but I failed to get it because those are all moves and Raspberry Pi. You try to use it highly available. And moves are not highly available. Of course, Raspberry Pi is highly available in Amazon also. Everywhere you will get it. So try to use it for your well, Raspberry Pi. You will use it for your gateway. I do know, and I have shown you know, this one as your sensor devices. PC 2650 sensor, Arduino as your uh, Arduino is this one. This is, this is the edge controllers on all Arduinos. You use these Arduinos as your gateways and use one laptop use as your cloud. Try to connect them with where first, learn how to add them. You learn how to work with them sensorless, uh, sorry, wireless, and then go for commercialization. And your whole aim should be how to make a product which I will sell in the market because these are all low cost. With one lakh or two lakh of rupees, you can make something very good, very good thing which is sellable. Even I am trying to make something for aquaculture. For aquaculture, automation of aquaculture. Aquaculture means fish culture. Bengalis are fish eating people. You know it. <laughs> and so I am trying to make some device something using these things so that uh, the aquaculture can be automated. Anyway, thank you so much. Any questions from anywhere? Please. So thank you very much, sir, for your uh, detailed lecture on IoT from the basic uh, to the intermediate and to the final level. We understood each and every aspect. So what we uh, as a whole understood that everything is going to be automated. So we are going to uh, move from primary data collection to real-time data analysis. And, yes. uh, and and the one of the most important thing in IoT is it's an interdisciplinary because uh, it's not only the data collection, it's not only the sensor, it is also the data processing, it is also the machine learning, exactly. edge computing, fact for computing, and even the, uh, even the big data. So it's really a wonderful, it's really a wonderful, sir. So now I request all participants, if they do have any questions, they can uh, post a question. We have uh, 10 to 15 minutes for the same. Uh, I have a one question from the participant side, sir. So I will yes. be uh, sharing the question. Yes, sir. Uh, there is a question by Anirvan Datta. Uh, how is the prospect of IoT for application in manufacturing industry like 
jo- uh, garment and textile industries. So how, how we can see that uh, it will be beneficial for automatic data capturing or machine to machine communication or predictive maintenance. Uh, already she has answered, I think, predictive maintenance and also. So she wanted to know. Uh, yes. So how the IoT will help there? Yeah, the, for them, uh, for uh, for this uh, garment industry or, or for the for this type of industry, industry is one of the very, very, very important aspect, aspect is that uh, you have to I don't need very nicely, nicely. There should, there should not be any kink, kink in the in the clothes. In the clothes. So, so uh, what uh, they do what is, they that, do is that they, they, they manual, manual they, they check, check, check it manually. Manual. So, so even, even if they put, they put a camera, camera over it, it and, and had there been any king in, in any manufacturing process, processes, it will be automatically and it will be one. So this is so one, this thing. one thing. And another, another thing, thing is that the that, that, uh, quality, quality of the, of the, of the, of the, the oven, oven material. material. So what he, that that is also uh, that can be that is been corrected by the weight of the cloth uh, per centimeter. What is the weight? If the if the weaving is not done properly, it will be thinner in some places and it will be thicker in some places. That is another problem for them. So so uh, so when the, uh, the the cloth is rolling up, so per centimeter, what is the weight it 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 it, it measures? And if they find any uh, uh, substantial change, immediately they will stop the process. That means there is some serious flaws in the weaving process. So these are the two things, pertinent uh, things, uh, which this garment industry can do. This is number one. And number two is uh, uh, garment industry in any other sense. Uh, and this is the thing which I, which I can guess with the garment industry. And, uh, Fine, sir. Fine, sir. So, any other participant would like to uh, ask any question? Please go ahead. Adik, uh, you can type. Okay. Uh, otherwise, you can uh, uh, post a question in a uh, chat box later because we uh, we we have another session from sir uh, day after tomorrow. We, uh, I suppose so. We will be posting your questions to sir, and he will be accordingly answering the same as well. So, I feel. Uh, we should take a break, sir. Sir, uh, it was really a fantastic uh, talk from your side. And uh, basically, I'm from the computer science and I have learned a lot from yours. Uh, yes, you quoted the Parkinson. IoT is going to be a very major role uh, in Parkinson because we have 10 million people every year. Uh, we are getting in a Parkinson. Uh, yes. And another area, The I think there is no any area. There is no area where IoT is not applicable. It yeah, is yeah, applicable yeah, yeah. in almost all areas. Sir. So definitely we shall be uh, you, uh, taking care. We shall be looking into your advices and uh, we will be implementing the same. And one important thing you quoted, sir, is we must look forward for patenting, not for the research. So that is the important thing you, you just suggested advice to all of us. So we will look into it, sir, definitely. Uh, I, on behalf of the Department of Computer Science, University of Jammu, once again, thank you for you. Uh, thanks for your kind lecture, sir. And uh, we will reach to you soon after the after tomorrow for another talk, sir. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let me uh, take a leap from here. Thank you, sir.